Hi everybody, Michael here from MyRod.com and today I have two stunning 1966 Mustang convertibles that could not be more different one from the other. Here I have a, an original, a beautifully restored Sauterne Gold convertible. And here, well here, I have car number 22 in a series of builds by a company called Revology. And it's the reason I named this video Revology Compared. not heard of Revology, I'll tell you a little bit about them towards the end of this video, but probably the best thing to do is simply go to their website, revologycars.com. So let's get started and let's start with this stunning Sauterne so Gold convertible. Okay, so this is an example of what we all fell in love with from the beginning. It's the original car. Never has a car had the global impact that the release of the original Mustang did back in the day. There are still collectors worldwide that pursue these cars. In fact, it's the most collected mark of all collector cars on the planet. And examples like this one, restored to this level, are extremely sought after. And they're an absolute joy to own. So, this is the original car. I think most of you have some level of familiarity with the original car. So our focus from this point is going to be on the Revology. So let's talk about this car. This, it's the reason we're doing this video, and it's a very special car, and I'm quite sure you'll be impressed. Vintage Burgundy. I absolutely love that color. You know, the Ford Marketing Department named both of these cars after wines. That's Code X, Vintage Burgundy, and this is Code Z, Sauterne Gold, which is a white wine. That's very cool. Way to go, Ford Marketing Department. All right, so looking at this Vintage Burgundy car, all you can say is that it's stunning. The paint, the fit, the finish, it's, it's all outstanding. The stainless, the chrome, you know, it's just a show quality presentation top to bottom. That, that's a fact. Now, but for me, the best, the best thing about this car visually is that almost no one, including me, at a cursory glance would suspect it of being anything other than an original 1966 GT Mustang. However, after an outward appearance and some interior styling cues, other than those two things, these cars almost have nothing in common. They're completely different cars. You cannot compare them. So let's take a look at the interior. Wow, car number 22, the interior is spectacular. This is design Hall of Fame stuff right here. You know what I love about it is it pays homage to the original car. There's lots of instantly recognizable design elements inside this car. It just, it looks like a vintage Mustang, but with much finer materials, much finer finish uh, all across the board. The, the wood, it's real veneer, real wood veneer, and the stainless is gorgeous inside here, and the console uh, has been updated to have cup holders, and you, it's got a little door that opens up, and some of the electrical controls for the windows and the top are inside there, and it's just extremely well designed. Uh, the seats are bolstered, they're, they're more comfortable. Of course, it's a modern design. They've got headrest and they have shoulder harness capability and they kept the beloved pony, uh, pony look and I love that as well. Carpet is awesome, it's the German type carpet and it looks really, really good in here. And you know, it's just high end all the way. The stitching on the dash, leather wrap dash, is repeated in the door panels and the door panels perhaps are one of my favorites, favorite things about this car. A lot of technology, some of it's hidden, some of it's pretty obvious to see, like the push button start, but by and large, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Even the boot is leather, which completes the high-end look throughout the car. So, well, let's start this baby up, listen to it, and go on a test drive. And uh, yep, you will be impressed. All right, let's go on that test drive. This is gonna be fun. Well, as usual, it's a beautiful day in Texas. 
So let's go enjoy the weather. Okay, we're about to be out of the neighborhood and the, the first thing you notice is, is that you're just no longer in a 50 plus year old Mustang. Uh, everything about the original car in terms of the experience behind the wheel has been replaced with a much more modern, more refined experience. It's just different. Now visually, I'm still get, getting the kick out of the fact that I am in a 66 Mustang, at least that's what my eyes tell me. So. That's a nice mix. I like that. You know, the sound from the exhaust is not overbearing. In fact, I only hear that slight rumble. It's got a nice exhaust note, but uh, I'm sure if you get on it, you'll probably hear it a lot better. here at that time. This car has no problem going. You know, the platform, the driveline in this car, of course, it's modern day stuff. It's the equivalent of what you would get in a Corvette or a Camaro. It's one of the, the car number 22 is one of the early platforms that you could get. They don't do the LS anymore, but you know, there's no uh, apologies necessary for this platform. It's one of the uh, world-class motors out there today and it's in millions, well not millions, but it's in a lot of hot rods for a very good reason. It's amazing. So it looks like at uh, 70 miles per hour I'm turning 2,000 RPM. Not bad. You can go a long way at that rev with no aggravation whatsoever. Pretty sweet. It's like having your hand on the atom bomb. You can release it anytime you want. Woo! Very impressive. You know what I'm finding here is this car has a wonderful mix of, you know, modern day pleasure cruiser with a uh, street brawling muscle car, modern street brawling muscle car, and you know, that's just a recipe for an absolute blast. You just kind of, you know, pick your mood. Well, I guess I gotta confess, I'm falling in love with this car. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are countless people who would never trade the original experience for one of these, and I get that. And I myself, I'm not ready to put my classic Mustangs into old mothballs, but I gotta tell you, there's there's value in this experience without a doubt. You, you can't replicate this experience with a vintage Mustang. And I suspect there are very few resto mods that replicate this experience. You know, the difference in this build and most builds, this is more of a systematic build versus a random build uh, by any number of guys using any num number of methods and uh, componentry. Uh, this car is has been thought out uh, by engineers and, and the, they're in a continuous improvement environment. Car number 22 no longer represents car number 50 plus. So I think uh, Revology deserves uh, looking into and I, I say kudos to you guys at Revology and the Revology team. I like what you did here. It's, it's really cool. Well that was the test drive portion of the video and uh, how does it compare with the original? Well it'll never replace the original in the hearts and minds of millions of people. You know, this is just the, the new kid on the block, the reimagined Mustang, if you will. Completely different experience. Um, it's not for everybody, but there are people that definitely seek out this type of experience behind a, a vintage appearing car, 
and uh, this car should suit them extremely well. I've got some pictures that'll follow here that'll tell you a little bit more about this car. Now, my son and I make a lot of videos about a lot of really cool cars. I think this one of less than 50 or around 50 Revology cars certainly qualifies. Anyway, come back often, check our website, subscribe, and uh, adios. Be careful!